White Boy Rick. So White Boy Rick is a true story about a kid named Rick who is that's right, he's white. Matthew McConaughey plays his father. They have a really fucked up home dynamic. They're broke, they're poor, dad's peddling guns. Most particularly, AK-47. That's right, AK-47, the very best there is when you absolutely, positively have to kill every motherfucker in the room have no substitutes. So Rick uses that game to get into this game, and then he creates his own game. All the while, the FBI's like, why don't you be an informant? It's a really crazy life this kid had. It's one of those life is stranger than fiction kind of moments. What I liked about the movie is, like I said, it's an interesting story. That's not to say anything about the execution, but the story's fascinating. Also, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey is great. He's the scene stealer. Everyone in the movie does a fine job, but you can tell Matthew McConaughey's here, everyone else is here. Maybe the movie requires more of him, but he just shines more. But really, the movie's pacing is just off. What I mean by that is the movie could have been longer. But if the movie was longer, the movie would have felt too long, so what to do? You watch this movie that just comes in shy of two hours and it feels like you're watching a movie that was intended to be at least three, maybe four. Which makes me walk out of the movie with that feeling of it would have been a better miniseries or series. Make it like Breaking Bad, but with a teenage kid. But in the end, you have this movie that's a fascinating story that's a choppy mess. There is this one scene where they're like, all right, you need to go here and make contact with this person, set up this deal so we can do this, so we can bust these people. And in the course of doing that, you come in at the tail end of all of it. I was like, there's so much I missed. There's a lot of interesting shit that happened in there that you just don't see any of. That's like popping on some porn and people are laying there smoking cigarettes after the fact. Apparently I referenced 70s porn. You know what I'm saying though? We didn't come here to see what happened after the interesting shit, but to show all that stuff would have made the movie at least an hour longer, which again would have been a better series or miniseries. And you can tell they're rushing it when he first meets these guys like, who are you? We don't trust you. In fact, we're friends now. Well, he got in there pretty fast, I guess. It's like nothing in Rick's life lasted long enough for it to be profound. It felt like every Every big scenario was a placeholder for the next scenario, which was a placeholder for the next scenario. That movie's over. And you just feel cheated. There's some family drama with the daughter. Judging by where the daughter ended up, that, that's a fascinating story in and of itself. We don't get that much of it. I mean, the story of a kid who gets into crime, gets in with a gang, and decides, you know what, I'm gonna do this stuff myself. That's awesome. For me to walk out of the movie just feeling like I got the cliff notes, that's depressing. The premise itself lends itself to tension. Why was there not more tension in this movie? This movie just had to commit. Do you want to spend a lot of time on the setup? Do you want to spend a lot of time on the aftermath, you gotta allocate accordingly. They didn't commit to how they're gonna tell the story. It's like Miyagi said, this side you're okay, this side you're okay, in the middle, just like great. This movie just kind of got crushed because it stayed in the middle, safe in the middle, and doesn't stand out to anybody. Like Picard when he didn't get stabbed by the Nos again at the dumb job table. Guys, in the end, White Boy Rick was just a disappointment. The premise is great, the trailer's awesome, but in the end, we have a story that's deserving of a better movie than it got. Probably because I'm not gonna remember this one in T-minus one day. Yep, already forgot, sadly. The trailer's awesome. All right, so White Boy Rick, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite true story of crime? Your favorite crime biopic, whatever it is, whatever you think, Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.